Okay, let's say you have a simple animation, this poker chip falling, and I have one camera angle on the right, and then another camera angle on the left. What we're going to do is create a render sequence that will do both cameras all in one go. That way you can take the footage and run with it. What I'm going to do is go to my render settings first. I've already got this set up. Check, 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 name number dot extension. Pick my frames right here. I'm going to pick add renderable camera. I have camera one and then I have camera two. Go ahead and close this. I'm going to go up to rendering in the top left corner, change this to render, and then I'm going to hit the option box for render sequence. Don't click render sequence, click the option box. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and pick a new folder. So I press the folder desktop. Let's add a new folder. Let's we'll call this test animation. That's where this is going. I have all rendered enabled cameras checked. Let's just add this to render view so we can see it. Render sequence and close. There's my first camera angle and my second camera angle. So it does both cameras or however many cameras you have on each frame. Now our two folders, there's camera one, there's all my images and camera two, there's my different angles. So we can take this into, you know, Premiere, Resolve, Virtual Dub, whatever we need. And then we've got our two different angles ready to rock.